Insurance. We all rely on its protection. Insurance for our household contents, our cars, and our houses, as well as our own lives and incomes. To most of us, that's what insurance is all about. I love my stuff, and I want to keep it safe. But these are just a few of the ways that insurance touches our lives, because insurance lets the whole world enjoy a confident future. Every public event we attend, every product or service we use involves insurance. Without insurance, we couldn't confidently travel the world. Without it, most of the things we take for granted would be harder to get and more expensive. And without insurance, most of us would have no protection against the unforeseen at home or at work. Insurance itself is almost as old as civilization. Oh no! Who let the dinosaur out? Three thousand years ago, Chinese merchants learned to spread their loads over numerous boats to reduce the chance of loss. By 750 BC, the Greeks had established the first insurance exchange to assist trade. The Romans expanded the Greek ideas and even created superannuation for their troops. It took until the 13th century and the expansion of world trade for insurance to really get off the ground. And then along came the Industrial Revolution to present a completely new range of risks. Today, the range of risks is vast and insurance plays a vital part in protecting people. Not only do rock stars insure their voices, but promoters can insure open-air concerts against bad weather. Even the priceless Mona Lisa is insured for hundreds of millions of dollars when on tour. Golf promoters can insure against the cost of paying bonus prizes to players who score the elusive hole-in-one. Ultimately, everyone needs the protection insurance provides. And the bigger the risk, the greater the role that insurance plays. That's a really big responsibility. Whenever an international airliner flies into the sky, or a huge industrial project goes into operation, few of us consider the insurance implications. But things do go wrong, and accidents are a reality. Oil drilling rigs explode, and planes crash, leading to claims for loss of life, loss of equipment, and often claims for damages to others and their property. Regardless of the size of the risk, Insurance allows individuals, businesses and governments to transfer the heavy burden of loss and protect themselves against the possibility of financial catastrophe. Where do insurance companies find the funds to pay claims? To find the answer, it's simplest to try and see insurance as a pool or fund of money managed by insurance companies. The pool is created by many people and organizations who wish to protect an asset. Each contributes a regular amount called a premium. When an accident occurs, instead of one person suffering a major loss, money can be drawn from the pool and the loss shared by many. And this pool isn't confined to one nation or continent. Insurance is a worldwide affair. They're going to need a lot of money to protect everyone. When an Italian village is buried under tons of mud and rock, or Australia is struck by natural disasters such as bushfires, claims are settled using premium funds accumulated in almost every nation in the world. Taking a proactive approach to protecting their clients, insurance companies keep a fleet of planes on standby, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, around the world, to minimize the losses incurred during major storms. When storms approach cities, these planes fly above the storm to seed the clouds 
and create the downpour before the storm hits the city. Today, information is one of the world's most valuable commodities. Expensive communication satellites now form a crucial international link and new technology poses an exciting challenge for the insurance industry. Amazingly, the insurance premium for one satellite can be as great as that paid by one aircraft company to protect an entire fleet of aircraft. Ultimately, insurance is about people. Being in control is a wonderful feeling. People who need insurance against risk, who become policyholders, and people who specialize in accepting the risk, insurers. It's also common to use a broker or agent to find the best cover at the best rate. The policyholder pays premiums to the insurance company, which issues policies and pays claims. The insurance company's underwriter analyzes risks and calculates premiums. Assessors and loss adjusters inspect damage and recommend the amount to be paid against a claim, while investment specialists manage the pool of funds. Because of this, insurance companies are amongst the world's largest investors, providing capital to build shopping centers, skyscrapers and factories. Apart from direct investment, the insurance industry supports business activity by allowing rapid replacement of damaged equipment and buildings, providing security for loss of income or injury for workers, and even protecting manufacturers from loss through faulty products. Surprisingly, insurance also helps keep the cost of manufactured goods down, because without it, business would have to set aside considerable emergency funds, a cost that would ultimately have to be passed on to consumers. Businesses know the importance of having good cover. People do. And even toy bears are convinced. When a container load of toy bears bound for New Zealand found itself awash at sea, 450 bears were forced to make an insurance claim. But the other 150 were completely dry, thanks to another form of protection, gumboots. Of all our assets, none is more valuable than our life and well-being. And various forms of life cover are a significant portion of all insurance business. As well as immediate protection, life insurance can be an investment proposition. Life insurance policies can be cashed in at the end of an agreed period. Bonuses paid from the company's investment income give policyholders a sizable lump sum to enjoy at retirement. General insurance policies, on the other hand, offer protection against specific events. The range of options is vast. Insurance, life insurance, protection insurance, investment, superannuation, general insurance, fire, house owners and householders, marine, shipping, aviation, transport, vehicle, public liability, workers' compensation, compulsory third party, burglary and cash, engineering risks, livestock, crop and rain damage, fidelity guarantee, class, personal accident and illness, travel, executive, and kidnap and ransom. Insurance, an industry full of opportunity and challenge. As the industry grows, new career opportunities continue to evolve. But most importantly, growth also means a constantly increasing contribution to the security and well-being of the community. Does my policy include space walking? Insurance. Helping the world face a confident future.